My dad is Thai, uh, my mother is Welsh, Irish. My mother was travelling at the time and while she was in Thailand she was teaching English and they met while she was teaching at the, uh, at the university there. there. They actually got married in Thailand um, and the plan was that they would come back to uh, Wales, the UK for five years and then they would spend the next five years in Thailand and then so forth and so forth. Um, 45 years later, I think he's still waiting for that five years back in, back in Thailand, so he's been pretty patient, I think. My name's Tom Ramasut. I'm uh, a football coach and I um, own a few uh, business premises, which are predominantly bars and, and restaurants. My family have been living in Wales, um, well, my mother, uh, all her life. Uh, and my father moved over here to, uh, to marry my mother. Being born and brought up in Wales, you, um, you build a, a great affinity to the, to the country, the, the, the nationality, um, the people, um, and everything about it. I went to um, Welsh primary school, um, so I learnt uh, Welsh, the language, um, and I think uh, when, I, when I used to go away or move, I lived away for, for a few years, um, having been able to speak the language it just gives you even more of a strong, stronger identity. I don't think that's, that's the be all or end all. My sisters, they both learned Thai um, as, as, they, as they did through their sort of teenage years. Um, but two languages, Welsh and English, was probably enough for me plus any GCSE, French or whatever it is I needed to do. Yeah, so, I, yeah, one of my regrets so far is that I haven't learned to speak Thai, but um, hopefully um, one day I will, I will start to learn, learn the language as well, because I think that's important. My views on immigration, uh, I think at the current state of affairs, uh, my view is more on how it's portrayed and how it's kind of communicated to the, the general public. Um, and I think the media has a lot to answer for in that. Um, I think that there's a lot of confusion at the moment, the difference between refugees uh, and immigration, and it's kind of all been diluted into one. Um, so, yeah, my, my feelings are kind of... Um, there's one side of me that understands is that there is practicality um, issues around um, immigration. Um, but however, we are one of the richest countries in the world. Um, I think it's the fourth richest country, I believe. Um, so if we, if we can't help as a nation, and I know it benefits us a lot as well with, with our growth and so forth, um, then who can? Um, <clears throat> I think there's, yeah, there's there's a negative perception towards it, uh, mainly down to the to the media uh, and to politicians who are who are looking to win votes. But I think as long as you're contributing to the country and and you know you have respect for for um, for the country that you've moved to. Um, I don't see um, why anyone should have any issues with with kind of you making a life in a place that you weren't born in. I think the it is a challenge for young people, and it it might be a challenge for for someone growing up who's not from um, from the UK or whose parents are first generation um, immig immigrants. Um, they certainly will have challenges. Um, uh, as you know, I didn't have that huge amount of challenges, but there, there were times where, where, where there was when I was growing up. And I think the only thing I would say is that um, you know, treat people how you'd like to be treated yourself. So, if they treat you with the respect, then you should be treating people with um, respect, vice versa. Um, if that isn't the case, then I think you just need to try your best not to be dragged down to their level.